Whoa, Alex, the new NES Classic Edition is out. Whoa, it's mini and small, isn't it? Whoa. Oh, get me one. What's your favorite game of the 30 games? Go. Oh, God. Sh- um, shit. Sparkster's on there, right? I uh, know. <laughs> NES. NES. Oh, oh um, uh, Dr. Mario? Yeah, that's one. Okay. That's your favorite? Uh, really? Uh, Out of maybe. all those? <laughs> maybe. What are you, an idiot? Yes. You're Dr. Mario's me. amazing. Dr. Mario's great. Why don't you just say Excite Bike, you freaking idiot? Dr. Mario is one of those games that I can literally just play forever. I know, but there's also Super C on there. Oh, is there? Don't you love Super C? Didn't they get sued by High C? <laughs> <laughs> no, Sunny D. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm thinking of Super Sunny C- CDs nuts. I got nothing. <laughs> Super Sunny Double Dare? <laughs> yes. <laughs> the, the, it was, Mark, Mark, it's nice outside. Can we do Double Dare outside today? Well, okay. There's a, there's a lot of lens flares on that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, that was the original name of uh, Wild and Crazy Kids. <laughs> outside Double Dare? No, Super Sunny. Oh, because they didn't shit outside a lot. <laughs> Harvey, tell them what they've done. <laughs> <laughs> a daughter. <laughs> Whoa, it's uh, a pun factory here. It is. Wow. Okay, we, so we, Dr. We, Mario, huh? All right, we'll put you down guess, under the lame crowd. Hey, and Mega Man 2. Oh, okay, sure. Even though I prefer Mega Man 3 and 4. I know everybody yeah. ev- Everybody refuses to get off 2's dick. I, I know, but, you know. Like, I get it. It's a good here, game, but I, I personally I prefer 3 and 4. Here we are, on its dick yet again. Yes. Mega dick. <laughs> Bouncing on my boy's dick for hours. Thank you. I probably hope that's a lyric of some kind. <laughs> uh, it's a reference. Okay. I'll give you that much. Okay, so uh, yeah, you're cool after all, because you said isn't maybe. There, isn't there also a Castlevania on there? Both. Oh shit! That's in one and two. <laughs> both, wow, both of them. Great. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot about three. That's good because I only have two and three at the bar. I do not have one. Oh, all right. Yeah. I need that shit. You need it, huh? I do. You need it in your veins. <laughs> Lol. Thank, thank, yeah, thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Shut up and Nerd. take my money. <sighs> okay. You're okay. Sad dog. Right. There's another okay. Futurama reference there. Thanks. I, f- I feel like you're lashing out at forum dwellers. No. Okay. No, I need my usual thing. That's all. Well, then what are you lashing out at this time? Nothing. Just having oh, some fun. This is highly unorthodox. <laughs> all right, what's your number two game? Oh, God. Uh, isn't Final Fantasy on there? Yeah. That's so weird. That's a weird choice. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense, I guess, but it's just a weird... And, it's also it's especially weird because this FF one is crazy buggy. Like you have stats that don't do anything right. and weapons that don't do what they say they're supposed to do. And I still haven't figured out what respond rate means. Um, I think that's uh, the speed with which you reply to Facebook messages. Oh, that was ahead of its time then. I think mine is eighty two percent. Okay, number two, Final Fantasy. My favorite is Ninja Gaiden. Oh, fun! Yeah. I, I I still suck at that game. And there's some Mario games or whatever. Yeah. It's got Mario 1, 2, and 3? Yes. Wow. And Dr. Mario. Dr. Mario, wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, cool. I didn't know he was a doctor. <laughs> but you what just shit? said it first. <laughs> Holy shit, are we still doing the open? Oh, yeah. Fuck! <laughs> abort! Abort! <laughs> you don't just sound that panicked. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Got it's a pretty easy going. <laughs> <laughs> the Sega CD Classic Edition. <laughs> uh. All right, here we go. Hi, everybody. It's No More Whoppers. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? My name is Ray Barnholt, Slap Happy Rhythm Buster, and with me as always, the dynamic solo, Alex Fraioli. I don't know what that means. It's not the dynamic duo. Dynamic oh. solo. Well, you're... then you lose, all the, you lose the alliteration, then. That is the point of the joke, you I don't, dingus. I, I don't get jokes. I'm Alex. 
What about dynamic dingus? That retains the alliteration. Alex! That, okay. Thanks. No! Bye. I'm on vacation now. Alex! Uh, good afternoon, Alex. Hi, how are you? How's everything in Japan land? Uh, good. It's getting chilly over here. Oh, yes. Um, uh, and I, I feel cold uh, in, a sp- in a spiritual way because I still can't find the uh, Famicom Mini anywhere. Good segue, because I feel cold in a physical way. <laughs> as wow. in I have one. Oh, no! That I got from being on another podcast that will Uh-oh. go unmentioned, Dronauts. <laughs> Unmentionable nuts? Yes, so... Okay. Forgive me if I try and suppress my coughing. <laughs> That's fine. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm just, I'm <laughs> getting over a cold. <laughs> God damn it. Sorry. I'm getting over a cold myself, so at this moment I'm, I'm com- composed of, uh, eight, 80, 85% mucus. Oh, I'm, uh, I'm down to 75. <laughs> oh, shit! Yeah. I really wish you could just, like, detach your sinus, you know, or your whole nose part for a little bit. Yeah. You know? Like an oh, Xbox yeah. faceplate, just like oh, God. there you go. <laughs> gross. <sighs> oh, fun. Well, well it's yeah, not that I, gross. Xboxes don't have sinuses because they were built that way. Well, yeah, right. So yeah, I, I went down to Big Camera to look for a Famicom Mini. All they had was the display model, and God damn it, it's <laughs> it's true. That controller is just so tiny. Yes, it's like the size of a credit card. It's insane. Oh, I see. It's super, it's almost uncomfortably tiny. We get the full-size ones. And I don't even have beefy gaijin hands. I have, like... Uh, yeah, me neither. Di- I have diminutive uh, Italian hands. Aren't yours still kind of big compared to mine? My, my, um, I'm kind of, like, okay. My my hands, my fingers are kind of longish and spindly, yeah. but my hands are not that thick. Yeah. How about spirally? Um, yeah. Yeah, sp- spiral cut ham. <laughs> <laughs> I want oh, one. Shit. <coughs> it's gonna happen well, there too we much. Go. <laughs> <sighs> You're just gonna have to uh, edit out some of these. No, no, there's all stays in it. Everyone must know our pain. All right, fine. Um, so no more whoppers in the fall. Yes, colds are coming. Legends of the fall. <sighs> yes. Anyway. So yeah, uh, waiting for uh, the big the big stores to restock with the Famicom minis. Of Don't course, Am- Amazon you and either. apparently the rest of the world. Yeah, I lucked this out. Is, uh, how's how's that? I'm gonna brag now. Go. Uh, well, you know, a, m- a couple months ago, I think it was like Target just had them up for pre order, uh, like I guess accidentally. Oh. And then I got it, and then they never canceled it, and then it showed up on Monday. So. There you go. While, while, you know, apparently Nintendo's official line was, you can't pre-order it, go to the store, have fun. And so that's (laughs) why there was mobs of people, angry people, uh, no less. What is the reasoning behind not letting you pre-order something? I really have no idea. And this (laughs) is Nintendo we're talking about, and yet I still have no idea. This is pretty unprecedented, even for their level of uh, incompetence. Yeah. Tell me if tell me if Nintendo's being stupid or if I just don't understand business. Why this, and this is like amiibo shit. Why didn't they just make more? Did they not anticipate it would be this big? Uh, well, <laughs> there is uh, uh, unsubstantiated story from someone on a forum that the they were standing in line, I think, in New York or whatever. And the woman, oh yeah, I read about guy, this. Yeah, yeah, came up and said he was a product manager. Is like, you guys want this? What what are you talking about? What and. Uh, <laughs> Perhaps that was true, and maybe that suggests uh, what was really going on there. But I think I think there's a knowledge that this is going to be a hot Black Friday item, or at least you know that shopping week, or in the weeks leading up to Christmas. So that was their perhaps half-assed attempt to try and give everyone a chance, quote unquote, unquote Fun. unquote. Uh, so <laughs> they just said, "No, you can't pre-order it." It may show up on a website at you know in the afternoon, but we don't know when. Good luck. Call your store. 
<sighs> but this is only the first week, and they did say they're going to keep them rolling through the holidays. And so Good. I don't think there's much reason to doubt that. After all, it's a pretty simple toy. It's not a real complex system at all. So, yeah. Well, speaking of games... And it's, you know, it's okay. It's average. Oh, what do you mean it's average? I mean, it gets the job done, certainly. 30 pretty good games. It's better curated than some of the stuff that's been on Virtual Console, you know. Uh, you know. Uh, yeah. Thinking back. And, uh, you know, for a toy that for the common person, yes, it's fine. All right, but I'm sold. I'll, t- I'll take it. The, but, you know, some people reported the emulation's not perfect. The sound is not 100%. Not 100.00%. So, that's, it's kind of silly, because, like, it, it, they made it on, it's based in Linux, so it's open source software, but yet Nintendo just can't, <laughs> instead of just getting someone else who's already made an established NES emulator, they have to start all over again. And they start all over again, like, eight times now in a row over the past, like, 12 years. <laughs> Just making new NES emulators from scratch, apparently. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> they're in- incrementally getting better. Sounds like they're uh, making progress. It's just not as good as, you know, could have been if they had just, you know, opened up their airtight building a little bit. If they just turned on their heart light. No? Is that Neil Diamond? What? Ray? You talking about uh, Teddy Ruxpin? Yes! <laughs> you could just put any tape in there. Another hot toy of the 80s. <laughs> Along with the NES. Um, folks, pre-order your Teddy Ruxpin <laughs> mini now. What the hell kind of name is Ruxpin? Um, I don't know. It sounds kind of bearish. Does like, it? I could, I, could, I, could, I, could, I could see that being a bear's last name. Bears don't have names, let alone surnames. <laughs> I'm just saying. Sounds berry uh, enough. Also, still have no fucking idea what Winnie the Pooh means. Yeah, that one's lost. I don't know. Anybody. No one okay. knows. It's, it's been so long. Was it, was Pooh like a nickname he called his kid? The author? I, I guess. He's Maybe the that Pooh. Was it. But they call it, they just call they refer to him as Pooh. No one ever calls him Winnie. Winnie is the chick from That's the Wonder true. Years. That's true. You got me there. Yeah. yeah. Why, why? Winnie the Pooh. Well, I don't uh, call you Alexander. No. Could you? <laughs> no. Well, I demand it. <laughs> Effective immediately. <laughs> Who died and made you king? Uh, um, Napoleon? <laughs> Okay, fine. Right, fine. For disregard. Wait, you're Italian. What? <laughs> Why not you Italian? We? <laughs> I don't like Italians. Alex! That's Italian. How am I giving you attitude? <laughs> <sighs> we have fun, don't we? Yes, we do. Wait, what is this drop that's just called Paradise? <laughs> Hang on, I have to find out what this is. I'm determined to turn this place into a paradise of spice. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. It was only it was only from I, last episode. I know. That's how that's how quickly I forget. <laughs> it has been a month. That is so Alex. How about that, bro? Well, Ray, are you ready for another mini installment of the Human Body is Bullshit? Oh boy! Well, <laughs> we already had a mini installment. <laughs> well, this this is a this is a mini mini installment. Okay, mini point five. To, yeah, to celebrate the NES mini. <laughs> yes, uh, <laughs> it's it's palm sized. Yeah. So uh, after <laughs> after your kidney stone story, uh, you know, five years ago. <laughs> yes. Uh, I started I started getting woken up in the middle of the night with horrible piercing back pains. Okay, great. Well, last time it was something different. That was just your tooth. Yeah. Well, no, and this now time you have yes. What? Oh no, it just it turns out that I I I, I didn't even see anybody about this. I'm just assuming that I I pinched a nerve in my lower back because sure. of my my poor dishwashing stance. <laughs> but it was but it it resulted in this horrible, debilitating backache that stayed with me for about a whole month, and I was convinced it was a kidney uh, stone. Uh-huh. Um, well, if it was a kidney stone, you should have increased your fluid intake. 
Uh, well, I did. Okay. Just in case it was. Yeah. And it's gone away. I mean, I'm pretty sure it was it was just back stuff. I mean, it was just muscle pain. Okay, yeah. If it went away and you didn't piss blood and the I did stone not. came out, then you're fine. Nothing came out? Okay. Oh, gee, I don't even want to think about that. Well, but, um, it, I have to go I, back in December for my uh, year after checkup at the urologist. Gross. Where I will report, hopefully, that nothing has happened again. Good. And then, uh, yeah, go about my merry way. But he did say originally that, you know, because I got one now at this age, I'm probably going to get one again. So, Is it true that if it's your first time at the urologist, they have to take a bone clone? Is it true if you don't use it, you lose it? I think it is. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, bone clone. That was a mini boss in Mega Man 5, right? Uh, yeah. Right, yeah. But yeah, it's uh, some of the worst back pain I've ever experienced. I know this is exciting for our listeners, but I want to oh, say, totally. like, I was, like, I could barely get out of bed uh, in the evening. But you kept at, you stayed with it for a whole month. I did, yeah. I mean, it, it never got and to you the were, point. Huh. And you were always, like, completely debilitated? Yes. <laughs> because the only thing worse to me than debilitating pain is actually going to the hospital. I know. I went through it. I will I felt go to the, the same hospital. Way. Yeah. I but, will go to the hospital when I'm physically incapable of moving. That is the only way. But I <laughs> Oh boy. Yeah, but I think, you know, Either for me, the pain was much more than what you went through with this, or... Oh, it, I guarantee it was. <laughs> okay. Or I'm just, like, more of a pussy or something? Because no, I was, no, no, you know, no. I was done within, like, you know, what, 10 hours of going through that? 10 straight yeah, hours? I, I'm just I like, think I gotta because, go to the emergency room now. I think because what I had was not a stone, it was, the pain was not nearly as bad as it was yeah. for you, but... It was my imagination uh, playing shit on me. When when the back pain woke me up in the middle of the night, my brain immediately went to, oh, that's got to be a stone. Sure. And it turns out it wasn't, fortunately. <sighs> Did you take but medicine? It, uh, uh, you could yeah, sleep let's, let's okay, right? You could fall asleep fine. No, well, no. If When I lay down, if I didn't get to bed in 30 minutes, I wasn't sleeping. Okay. <laughs> or it's free. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, I get but yeah, it. like, because as soon as I lay down, like, when I when I stood up, I, f I feel fine. But as soon as I lay oh, okay. down, yeah, I, I I have thirty minutes before it really starts to yeah. hurt. Yeah, I mean, if it was a stone, you would feel it no matter what position you're right. in. Right. Right. Yeah. So I just I fixed it. I just uh, I slept with a pillow under my okay. under my legs for a month, and now I feel great. All right. Well, there you go. Yeah. Now, well. Take care of both your wiener and your back. Thank you. I always do. They're a pair. Okay. <laughs> They're a matching set. Identical cousins. <laughs> uh, my hot dog makes you lose control. Oh, dear. <laughs> sorry. Uh, yeah, sorry. This uh, this whole thing, this, this whole back pain conversation has just been a ruse to get you to give me a back massage. All right. Sure. So whenever you're ready. <laughs> we couldn't sound more old. <laughs> <laughs> like... We're not even midway to 40. Yeah. We're talking about our backs already? Well, you know, back pain is a serious issue. I mean, yes, when you have it. Right? It sucks. Yeah. But, like, but I used to get this shit even uh, in high school. Like, if I slept the wrong way, that's oh, yeah? it's going to stay with me all day. Were you also a bad dishwasher back then? <laughs> yes! <laughs> <sighs> oh. Well, no, now I just, I have to go into my, when I wash dishes at work or wash glasses, I have to go into my rock star stance so that I'm not bending over. Oh, dear. So Bas basically I, sp I put my feet yeah. uh, as far as I can get them past shoulder length. Yes. <laughs> and then you I'm grab an axe and split. play some dire straits. Exactly. Yes. Money for nothing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm basically doing a split while I wash glasses. Well, I guess that's yet another reason to come visit Critical Hit. <laughs> yeah, right off the belt line. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. If, uh, if anybody wants to hear me talk more about the bar, uh, I just did an interview for uh, a local podcast called Nagoya Buzz, 
uh, hosted by my friend Daniel Ostrander. You can find that on their Facebook page. I linked to it on my Twitter. It was a good conversation about bar stuff. Right. Yeah. I haven't listened yet to it yet. It's pretty fun. We had a good time. Is there a buzzing sound during the whole thing? Yes, that's why it's called that. Yeah, okay. Well, yeah. it was either that or it's about beekeeping, and you're not a beekeeper. No, I'm not. You're a barkeep. Bees? <laughs> I am. Uh, but yeah, uh, t- so let me just get the rest of the bar shit out of the way. Um, so right. I, I, what, I, I thought I got hit with uh, a uh, $2,200 tax bill uh, recently. Uh-huh, yes. Turns out that's just my accountant fee. Okay. For the for so, the year. So, yeah. So... But it's still uh, not good. <laughs> no, it's not. And now I'm wondering if I can just ditch this guy and start filing my own Japanese taxes. Because I know some people, some business owners in Japan do that. Yeah. Um, uh, my friend uh, James, who lives in Ise, he owns an English school and he files his own taxes. He pays he pays less than five hundred bucks in taxes a year, which is amazing. <laughs> but is that because he's screwing them up? <laughs> uh, no, he's fighting like he, he, he. I mean, that's my down, fear. He sits down with his wife because she's Japanese, and they they go through the whole thing and they turn right. in. And, and in Japan, when you submit stuff like that, like the 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 clerk looks it over with you to make sure you did it right. Oh. Seriously? Yeah. Yeah, then why do you need an accountant? Exactly. If, I mean, if, <laughs> like, they they just don't, like, spend a minute. They'll, they'll, they'll go through the whole thing with you? Yeah. Uh, they, I mean, they just they flip through it, and they, they just make sure you but filled everything out correctly. you're hearing this from James, yes? Uh, well, yeah, and from personal experience. I mean, okay, when okay. I... I've never filed my own taxes in Japan, but when I have applied for visas, you don't just give them the application. You stand there while they go through the application, and they tell you things that you messed up or that you need to fix. Right. That's, that's, that's the upside of Japanese bureaucracy. Like They want to make sure yeah, that but, you're not wasting everybody's time. Yeah, but you've also been pissed off by that. <laughs> oh, yes, I have. <laughs> it's a love-hate relationship. That's, yes, yeah. Okay, yeah. I mean... Okay, yes. So I remember you, yeah, you, you, you were complaining on social media about the uh, $2,200. Yeah. Which you thought was taxes. It's not taxes. Oh, uh, yeah, because my but account. Now it's <laughs> like. But does that include the taxes? No, that was. Uh, no, but... that was. I paid that earlier. Uh, I found out. Oh, okay. So, yeah, my, my account's English is not the best. And when he, he emailed me to sort of uh, give me a statement, give me a summary of everything that he did. Uh, so a, a thing that I paid a few months ago was my actual taxes, and this the new figure, the twenty two hundred bucks, is his fee, which yes. he did not make clear in his email. But he said it in English. Yes. Have you asked him to try Japanese? No. Because <laughs> either way, you could just uh, you know copy and paste it into Google Translate. It works really well. No hablo japonés. <laughs> <laughs> bueno. <laughs> Uh. Okay, yeah, so, uh, yeah, that's, um, I feel like I'm going to have to get an accountant. Oh, fun. Based on all the advice I've read, but I don't think I need to do it right now because, A, there's no product for the company. Yeah. B, I'm not really spending a lot. Sure. And, uh, (laughs) yeah, that's about it. (laughs) All right, then. And, well, oh, and C, I mean, I'm tracking it pretty well regardless. Great. I'm using the, the QuickBooks self-employed site, and it's really just, you know, just, you know, take note of all your transactions, uh, write down little notes of every receipt or attach the that. receipts, you know, as PDFs or whatever you get, from what I get anyway. And then you're good because you have the document, and then, you know, the site will calculate it as best you can, as best it can. Then you can copy it over to TurboTax if you want and go nuts. Fun. I think, you know, in case, you know, uh, I do make more money or something, then maybe I'll have to get an accountant. But hopefully it would be at a point where I could afford, let's say, a $2,200 accountant fee. (laughs) Uh, He doesn't even, like, all he does is the taxes once a year. It's not like I'm meeting with him once a month to discuss the state of my finances. (laughs) 
It's a way too much. Did he just like give you the total, or was there like a breakdown? Does he have like a you know a labor cost necessarily, um, or does he go by the hour? He just gave me the total, but uh, I, I think when I pay, I do get a breakdown. Okay. But I'm gonna have to tell him like, you know what? Let's let's take a break. It's not you, it's me. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna file my own taxes next year, and then we're gonna see how it goes. He shoots back with, "I invented it. It's not you, it's me." Ah, <laughs> uh, well, that's bar news. Is it? Wait. Did, well, I, I okay. First of see, all, see, it's been so long since we recorded that I do, I forgot how many gold subscribers came to the bar. Trevor, did I mention? Yeah, tre- I, I played his message last time. Trevor we was played cool. Trevor's message. Uh, Boone visited again. Boone from Singapore. Okay. Uh, it's his second time. He's a repeat gold subscriber. He's pretty cool. He he brought me some uh, Mario Pikachu shortbread cookies. <laughs> I feel bad though because um, he came in. At a uh, quarter to six, I don't. I don't open till six. And the easiest way to piss me off is while I'm setting up. If it's before six o'clock, don't open the fucking door. <laughs> but he didn't. He didn't know this because the last time he was here, I opened at five. Yeah. So fuck you. But but I've yeah. I since changed my hours. So he opens yeah. the door, and he looks startlingly similar to a customer who came in the night before, who happens to be really annoying. Oh, I, great. I thought it was that guy. So I'm like. <laughs> like, uh, hey, wh- what's up? Can I help you? No, what the fuck? No, this is no. Come back at six. I'm not open yet. And then he left. And like five minutes later, as I'm as I'm cleaning and getting ready to open, I'm like, oh, wait, that was Boone. That's <laughs> okay. <laughs> now I feel like a huge prick. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, he's, a, he's a good guy. We didn't get to go out to karaoke this year like we did last year. But uh, I think he enjoyed his time in Japan. Again. When are you getting over here? I don't know. Okay. I'm glad we uh, had this talk. I can talk about a related subject in the next segment, perhaps. Okay. Um, but otherwise, I'm glad you... Uh, hold on. I'm glad you don't have to pay all that tax. Uh, I still have to what pay all that money. What was the tax that you did pay before that you said? Um, uh, boy. I, I don't remember. I just I just pay things that he sends me. Okay, was it less? It must have been less than twenty two hundred dollars. It was much less. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, so and on top it, of all that, my residency tax I think is another thousand dollars. Oh goody! But that's mostly paid already. Good goody. <laughs> yeah. So like, I have an LLC now. I didn't actually mention on the show before, but you know, right, I, ladies I, I, love cool. I am making a game and rebooted uh, Bipedal Dog as an LLC in California. You don't say bipedal? It, it, I vacillate. <laughs> so do I. Isn't that weird? Yeah. Uh, what? I, I guess whenever Alex corrects me. <laughs> you don't say bipedal? No, oh, fuck off. <laughs> anyway, um, <clears throat> if you start an LLC in California... You were required to give California eight hundred dollars a year. Oh, just as an LLC fee. It's not a tax. It's just like got to keep you honest. <laughs> Jesus, give us eight hundred dollars, and <laughs> what? Sh- fuck you. And that I feel is perhaps more bullshit than taxes, because at least taxes can vary. <laughs> um, you know, and they can be either really high or maybe not so high. But at least you can sort of, you know, feel like you're not getting dicked over so much, not so regularly for nothing. <laughs> if you're cre- if you're creative, at least you can have some sort of control over your taxes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but this fee thing is just like, well, great. Now I have to like basically <laughs> save up for it um, over the year, <laughs> so oh, I make fun. sure I can always pay it on time. And then also worry about my taxes. <laughs> Hang on. I'm going to do some quick math here. That comes out to about uh, $66.66 a month. Yes. That's like uh, the purchase of a new video game software. <laughs> a that's new NES tw- Classic Edition. That's Yes! <laughs> that's Oh, you should just get a box of those. Instead of paying the $800, just give them a dozen NES Classics. Um, that could probably work for one year. Okay. And the thing probably wouldn't be so popular anymore. Oh, no. Yeah, so I don't think that'd work. Okay. Anyway. Do go on. This is fucking fascinating. (laughs) 
That doesn't that doesn't encourage me. Oh, even sorry. If it, even the funny drop that just hurts. Sorry, wait, I got you know that right. What? Sh- fuck you! Uh. <laughs> no, what the fuck? No, this is no. What? Sh- fuck you! All right, everybody, here's Alex. This my fucking voice. <laughs> All right, <laughs> I'm a Great. Picross veteran. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah! I got to talk about Picross today. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I mean, if if you're done with uh, tax talk, <laughs> Hello, I guess you're on tax it's just talk. A... <laughs> Sorry. I guess. Oh. Uh, okay, so I I, I downloaded uh, Pix Logica Final Fantasy. <laughs> oh, because you hate yourself. Yes, it's so terrible, but I can't stop playing it. <laughs> I realize how stupid it is, but I keep playing it. It's it's like it's not even. I thought it was like it's Picross, where you make pictures of Final Fantasy characters. That would be fun. That's what I want. But no, they have to tack on a shitty story. Well, yeah, it's Final and, Fantasy, <laughs> and turn it into a battle system that's basically Babby's first Picross. Every every fucking battle is a five by five grid. It's zero. There's literally zero challenge. Haven't you played Picross and wondered, boy, this needs a battle system? No, <laughs> no. Oh yeah, that's right. The puzzles are really simple too, because it's just like because they're not really supposed to be puzzles. Right. I guess it's, it's just like a vector to execute commands with. Yes, it's so stupid. <laughs> like like Final Fantasy, I would be just hammering the A button and watching my party win. But here, instead, I've got to solve ridiculously <laughs> simple puzzles swipe, every round. Swipe puzzles. Yeah, it's so dumb. Uh, and then okay, so you can you can earn other items and stuff by doing uh, puzzles, uh, like you know traditional Picross puzzles of the characters, one per, one for each character. Which oh, is not, okay. It's not only connected side to those. things, but yeah. Yeah, so, uh, but those start out as 10 by 10. I've gotten up to 15 by 15. But the control scheme for those is so frustrating. Because uh, you, you, you get a bonus if you can finish a puzzle without making any mistakes. So, but you've got two choices when it comes to control. You've got uh, what they call the cursor type, which is where you drag the square around the puzzle, and then you, you select, um, you know, mark or X. Uh, and then they have like touch type where you just you select marker X and then you just use your finger to tap anywhere. Uh, but the squares are so fucking tiny, you're going to screw it up if you use the the touch type. <laughs> and the cursor type is so fucking slow that you fall asleep before you can finish the puzzle. So it's lose lose. Yeah. Uh, yeah, don't play it. But I will keep playing it. No. Well, it's also Great. like almost four years old. It's three years old. They just celebrated the three year anniversary. Oh boy. Thanks. Oh, wait. Is it in English? Nope. Okay. It's on the U.S. App Store, but it's still in Japanese. They what the never, fuck? They never officially localized it. Why on earth? I don't know. Who thought that was a good idea? <clears throat> I guess they thought, well, uh, nobody likes Picross, so fuck it. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's another thing that I don't understand. Like, it's by Jupiter, the same company that right. did... Uh, the other Picross on, uh, Picrosses on the DS. Pretty much all of them, yes. Yeah. So why didn't they just use the name Picross that people already know and love? And ha- why did they come up with bullshit like Picked Logica? Well, because Picross is probably a Nintendo trademark. Is it really? I would. Yes. Oh, yeah. that's right. Okay. Because I remember they. Yeah, they did a what Mario's Picross on the Super Famicom. Yeah, and on the Game started, Boy. Yeah, it started on Game Boy. That's right. Okay. Okay. Never mind. You got me. I, just, <laughs> yeah. I hate the I hate the name Picked Logica. It's almost as bad as th- theater rhythm. It is exactly as bad. I'd say <laughs> <laughs> it's a tie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, they kind of sucked at it. I think because Jupiter probably never made a, a, a mobile game before or an iOS game. Nope. There's still like there's still those few Japanese companies who haven't quite figured it out yet. <laughs> You're just yeah. Like, we're just like. It, Starting over as if it's, you know, 2007 again. They're just like cavemen trying to figure out how to make a touch-based game. It's like, you've been doing it (laughs) for years. Hire some people who know what they're doing. Yeah. Get some of these kids out of school. They've been growing up with touchscreens. That's my advice. Okay, I will take it. Okay. I'm a company. I'm not making a Picross game, by the way. Why not? It sucks. 
<laughs> no, I, no, Ray. I'm just Picross kidding. is amazing. No, I'm kidding. It does things with squares that you won't believe. <laughs> that sounds erotic. Yes. Hmm. Oh, never mind that. What the fucking Christ? <laughs> I'm, 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 what the fuck? I'm re-familiarizing myself with some of the drops that I forgot about. You do every month. That's not an excuse anymore. <laughs> yes, right? Greatest things I've ever said. I'm a great American. Oh. <laughs> uh, why don't we Alex take is here. Alex, give me your last name. Pronounce it for me. <laughs> Fry oil. Why don't we take a break and come back? Because I have more video game talk. Believe In Japan, they call it Famicom. No, not that. Okay, we'll come back. Good. We're back. It's No More Whoppers. I'm Ray. That's Alex. Hi. Still Alex, huh? Yeah, I'm drinking water. Okie doke. It's good for the body. Mm. Hydrate and uh, other stuff. <laughs> hydrate and assimilate. I guess mostly just the hydration. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it helps me assimilate into human society. Yeah. <laughs> by doing normal human things like drinking water. Drink water like the human. <laughs> Uh, and communication. <laughs> uh, Raymond, I uh, I picked up this uh, Alien Isolation game. Have you heard of this? Y- yes, I have. <laughs> Certainly. Cool. Yeah. I, In fact, I once recommended it to a friend of mine. <laughs> wow. We don't I, talk I, anymore. No, <laughs> for good reason. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah. So you, you told me I would enjoy it, uh, what, years ago? And yes. I, I believe I believe I poo pooed you, and then I saw it on uh, PS Plus for nine dollars. So I'm like, all right, it's time to wait, bite. wait, wait, wait. It was I free. Saw I know. It on PS I know it was free. <laughs> no, no, I saw it. Yes, multiple times on sale. Yes, for PS Plus. Yes, I showed it to you first. Thank you. And then Thank you, you for pointing me that out the first three times, and then finally, you broke down. I just, I just Fine. wish you, I just wish you had recommended it to me before. Okay, yeah, that's very funny. I don't. <laughs> it's not going to work anymore. Alex. We've done that. We've done this. Okay, We've done sorry. this. All right. Oh well. Here's the thing. The game is uh, really fun. I like, I like the the stealth, the survival aspect of it. Uh, I already hate it though. Okay. Because I've gotten. How to long did that take? Uh, a long, it took a long time because I, I think I'm near near the end. I don't know. Uh, I'm at the Apollo Core, which is just it's it's a whole bunch of fucking uh, androids, and it's getting real frustrating. And I kind of don't want to play anymore. All right. All the shit with the alien itself was great. Okay, yeah. All this android shit is like, what is this? It's not, yeah, the movie's not called Android. It's not. It's called Alien. That's Blade Runner. <laughs> It's replicant. Yes. How about a vampire replicant and you call it Vlad Runner? <laughs> I'd like yeah. to apologize. <laughs> but yeah, have, have you have you finished the game? I know, I never played it. Oh, okay. Well it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you should play it up up to where I am, and then not play it anymore. <laughs> okay. No, I've I've only I've only known it through all the different impressions I've seen of it and the reviews and such. Oh, okay. people really praised it for 
uh, honing so close to the uh, original movie, and I know you like the original movie, and it looked really good. Yes. I thought, hey, Alex would probably be into this. I do like uh, it. It does uh, stick very close to the original movie in the sense that there's only one alien. Yeah. And and it is just stalking everybody. Uh, well, I, like that Jim, and you know the, the uh, retro futurism of it. Right. Oh, I like that as well. Yes. All these uh, three People by four computer lot, yeah. monitors. Yes, I love it. Yes. Uh, <laughs> all, and all these like old computer systems that 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 you know it's just green on black. It's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Anyway, yeah, great game. Kind of sick of it now, though. Unless, uh, like, I think you can still change the difficulty and the options. I'm playing on normal. I might just set it to easy so I can beat this fucking area because I want to yeah, finish the game. Go ahead. Don't feel bad about it. I mean, I'm an adult. I have a job now. I can't afford exactly. to stay home and get good. No, yes. You know? <laughs> it sounds like, yeah, that's not worth it. So, yeah, just go ahead and bump it yeah. down. I mean, hey, I beat Enemy Zero on easy. There's no shame Did in you? that. Yes. Oh, is that why it's called Easy? No, it's because oh, okay, the zero and the oh, I see, yeah, okay. Uh, so I also picked up uh, Resident Evil Four on PS Plus. Oh yeah, for just a couple bucks. Uh-huh. Uh huh. That was pretty good too. I forgot how much I liked that game. Yeah. How many times have you dipped on it? Uh, this is only the second. Okay. Oh, you never got the Wii one. Nope, I got it when okay. it came out on the GameCube, and and then this, and then that's it. And this is great because it's like I think it's like the definitive version. Well, I guess that's a good trajectory for you because you know I played the Wii one and I got kind of spoiled because I really liked how that controlled. Oh, really? And there's no other version that really controls like that unless you want to uh... be creative or hack the PC version or something. But hack the planet. <laughs> yeah, but otherwise, yeah. So for you going from controller to controller, <laughs> traditional controller that is, that's probably okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I've here's the thing. Like I, I've had it for a, a week or two now. I've already beaten it twice. <laughs> I've beaten uh, Ada's Jeez. submission twice as well. Oh my god. I don't know why. I think it's like I forgot how much I liked it, so I'm like catching up on on binge playing it. That's like the most. <laughs> it's like the most video game you've played in a little. While. I know. It's an old one. <laughs> it is. But it looks Critical beautiful hit. now. Yes. <laughs> also, I'm still playing that DQ7. <laughs> oh, yeah, that thing. I, I, gotta, I forgot to... Um, I need to thank um, our, our good... Our, our man at uh, Nintendo UK who sent me some uh, slime uh, window decals. Oh, nice. Uh, f I think they were for the bar, but the bar does not have any windows, so I'm just going <laughs> to put them in my actual bedroom window. <laughs> How about some bumper stickers, too? Yes. Honk if you're Hoimi. But <laughs> I just want to see honk if you're Hoimi in peace. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to I want to put one of the slime decals on my bedroom window in the hopes that like if unfor you know in the unlikely or in the unfortunate event that uh, there's a fire in the building like <laughs> firemen will take a ladder up here and they'll be looking around for a slime. <laughs> 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 Slime uh, on board. Slime on board. Thank you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. Uh, but yeah, DQ, DQ7 is still fun. I'm, I'm at the last boss. Uh, not quite ready to beat him. Yeah. I'm still grinding. Uh, Have you considered probably... doing a podcast about that? Uh, no! Might be a good idea. Might be kind of fun. I would like to. You know, if I had the time, I would I would do 10 and 10 or 7 and 10 or something in 10. We know. I would at the very least start streaming something. I want to, I'd like to get into streaming. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you could do that. I could. Not with a 3DS, though. You have to purchase a mod for that. But... I know. Yeah. I just saw the Laser Time guy stream uh, Super Mario 3D Land. Yeah. That was fun. Because they paid oh, my the money. God. Yeah, um, I was going to tweet what? about this. Uh, I get excited. Uh, I just watched them stream uh, Watch Dogs 2, and it is hilarious. Uh -huh. uh, I have no interest in Watch Dogs, but just watching them drive around virtual San Francisco just talking about shit is hilarious. Yeah, yeah, I bet. Yeah, I uh, so, was going yeah. to get it at a discount, but then the discount... My my scheme did not work out, so I didn't, I'm, not, I'm not getting the game after all. Uh-oh, what was your scheme? Well, okay. 
I had some uh, Microsoft bucks saved up on my Microsoft account that I had been getting through the uh, Bing rewards. And so I had like 50 bucks and it's like, okay, sure. I'll use that on a game. So I purchased the pre-order of Watch Dogs 2 at the time. Alex, can you hear me? Yes, what? No, I I honestly thought you cut out. No, I'm good. Uh, What turned out was that I purchased it with my card. It never actually used the money because the money on the account because you can't use that for pre-orders. What? Why? So we were getting close. (laughs) I don't know. It's Microsoft's rules. Their house, their rules. Who knows? The thing is that some of that money was going to expire because that's also a stupid Microsoft rule. <laughs> so I got an email notification about that expiration, which was like five days before uh, Watch Dogs 2 was going to come out. The expiration date was. So I thought, oh, oh, I never actually got that with that money after all. So I had to go and cancel that pre-order because it wasn't actually going to use my free money to pay for part of it. How do you feel about your failure? Oh, pretty good. Instead, I got Forza Horizon 3. Sweet! Yeah. Race cars. <laughs> this is Ray Barnhart for race cars. <laughs> <laughs> Our slogan, the best. <laughs> race cars are the best. Uh, oh! I think that's all I have for game news. Am I playing anything else? No, I'm not playing anything else. No, Great. thank God. Still playing a lot of Mario Maker, though. I love Mario Maker so much. Well, apparently for you, it's the best thing to do in the bar. It is. Oh, my God. It's the greatest. It's like it's an unlimited supply of fresh Mario content. Yeah. It's not always the best, but it's it's a lot of it is entertaining. Yeah, I, for sure. Yeah. Who knew? I guess, yeah, that would be a pretty good place if you did own an establishment like that. Right. I'm just waiting for people to come in. I'll play a couple dozen levels. Yeah. And then they could play a couple dozen. Right? I still have a deal at the bar. Uh, if you beat any of my levels, you get a free shot. All right. Th- that hasn't happened yet? Oh, many times. Oh, okay. Just yes. checking. Just I've checking. only made six levels so far. All right. The Sinister Six. Thank you. Yes. Uh, I made an Electro level, a Kingpin level, <laughs> level uh Lizard level. Mm-hmm. Who else? Sandman. Vul- Vulture Sandman. And? Craven the Hunter? No, Doc Ock. Oh, fuck Doc Ock. Jesus. Dr. Awkward. Uh, <laughs> That's me. I, oh, sorry. No. <laughs> <sighs> That's nice. Anyway. As we've said before, good thing you don't you don't have to pay any super bad taxes for the Yes, but I, still have, but I still have to pay a crazy amount of money. It's just on uh, principle. I, mean. I don't care where, what I'm paying it to. I still don't want to pay it. I know. I, I'm just saying. Uh, Look on the bright side of the dark side. Of what? the dark, dark side. Okay. Huh? What? You gonna finish that thought? I did. Put it on the ground and walk away. What are you talking about? I made myself perfectly clear. It's for Vito. Exactly. It's for Vito. <laughs> I like that pause there. <laughs> There's like a hesitation. <laughs> I went, it's for you. <laughs> It's for Vito. No, less hesitation there. That's good. It's for Vito. It's for Vito. It's for, it's for, it's for, it's for Vito. What if you don't wake up? Uh, speaking of being sure of myself, it's for let's Vito. get a little bit personal. Okay. Well, except, you know, the show's already pretty personal, so I guess it doesn't matter. But uh, Right. I just wanted to talk about the fact that um, I got a, a, a renewed interest in, in, in learning Japanese again. Oh, good. Yeah, um, which is also kind of embarrassing for me to admit, (laughs) because, you know, at this point, it's been a few attempts. I mean, I kept trying for years to find a way to learn it on a consistent basis, and I failed. (laughs) I think I had the real last gung-ho mentality about it in around 2009 or 10, like just before I went to Japan for the first time. Oh, yeah. Uh, But then that stopped being enjoyable, and then just kind of dropped off. And there's maybe like fits and starts since then, but it didn't really work out. But it's also a little bit embarrassing because, you know, I never really, I don't think fully jumped into an intermediate level. 
and, you know, several different friends and fans of mine just assumed that I already knew the language because I talked about Japanese games so much. <laughs> like someone, I think on one up specifically messaged me and just said like, Hey, I'm learning Japanese cause of you. And I'm like, well, that great for you but oh jesus i feel like shit now because i can't even motivate motivate myself um <laughs> that's like if someone came up to me and it's like hey i'm learning drift racing because of you like oh okay, okay. Uh, yeah, I, yeah. I, i'm not sure what that has to do with me at all well i mean alex if you <laughs> sure okay never mind i'll yeah. take it yes okay um i mean I, I had long since broke through one of the first layers of it, which is reading kana, you know, a handful of a handful of kanji, and so it seemed like it, it. It always seemed like a waste if I can't go beyond that much, right? Right. It's like uh, to continue the car analogy. It's like if I got in a car for the first time, put on the seatbelt, touched the wheel, and then I got out and never actually drove again in my life. <laughs> <laughs> like you know. Well, that was exhilarating. <laughs> so that's always been kind of another. <laughs> Albatross now, around my I, neck. So, you know, <laughs> am I correct on this? Uh, I mean, I I knew at least Kana before we met, but I did you as well? Because I studied Japanese in high school. Uh, possibly. I mean, I didn't. <laughs> and I re I remember when we were writing for the GIA and we had to do uh, daily news. There was a lot yeah. of pouring over Japanese websites, and uh, you know, it, just knowing Kana helped so much in identifying what the topic of the damn article was about. <sighs> I don't think I was as up on it then. Okay. But I mean the thing is that I had I had had some sort of Japanese language book <laughs> for like since like 1997 cuz that's when I started to really sort of be interested in it. Okay. But even then as like a kid, you know, you don't really know how to like <laughs> motivate yourself outside of school in such a way. And then you know, yeah, I kinda, I'm still not good with that. Yeah, and then I went to that bad community college and took a bad Japanese class for like, I think th two or three whole units. And then, but that wasn't worth it anyway. Cause they used the stupid bad romanization book and you know, the teacher awesome. was not that great to begin with. Um, so that, they, you know, that just contributed to that. Um, but yeah, to answer your question, I don't think so. Uh -huh. Um, but, yeah. What else was I going to say? Well, yeah, I think that, but I think my real point was just because, you know, that now having re removed myself from it from, for several years, cause like I said, I had that big gung ho bit and then I just sort of dropped off again. I think I can come back and re reevaluate re and sort of, you know, think up a new strategy on how to take it because before I never really had a real goal, no real end point to it. And so I was thinking, I mean, I think that's why it sort of let it go because it always seemed hopeless. There was nothing at the end necessarily except, oh, I wish I could read these Japanese books and articles about video games that I keep getting. But you know, <laughs> that never ends anyway. There's always going to be more of that <laughs> for years and years. So I think now I'm sort of... Okay. <laughs> Take that Sound again. it out. Sound it out. Uh, and at, what I'd always dismissed was taking the JLPT. But I think now that's the more realistic goal I can set for myself. Uh, how often can you take that in your neck of the woods? Once a year. Okay. And there's five levels. I've taken like a couple of the sample quizzes for like the next up level, N4. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, let's back up for a sec. Uh, we should explain what the JLPT is yes, for it's listeners. Yes, the Japanese language proficiency test. There we go. Uh, I took it. Uh, I'm such an old dog that I took the test back when it only had four levels in uh, yes. 2004. Yeah. Uh, I took level three, which is second from the bottom, and I failed it by 3%. Oof. Now I feel like if I took it now, I could probably, I might be able to pass level three out of five. Mm -hmm. I don't, but, know. Yeah, I, don't I, mean, I don't study like sorry to interrupt I just want to I want to I want to clarify I don't my Japanese is not perfect it's highly conversational yeah. but it's not technical at all I can have a conversation about almost anything but when you start getting into like uh, technical things I'm I'm lost most of the time But I mean, but I think uh, your relative advantage is be was that you just were immersed 
You just that went through full true. immersion, basically. I learned the majority of my Japanese by living in bars for the past 10 years. Yeah. Two of those now, in my I bar. I mean, yeah. So you can speak it and think it and or, you know, you know mentally translate it pretty easily. I, I do dream in Japanese sometimes. <laughs> right, there you go. I mean, so you would say you, you know, at least verbally have the grammar down, for instance. Oh, yeah. But you couldn't necessarily explain it in writing or figure it uh, out in writing. Am I yeah. right? Oh, yeah. Um, oh, fuck writing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So my, the JLPT. Yeah. Like, yeah, I think, you know, I just sort of dismissed it because it never, it never had a use for me at the time. Oh, and it yeah. it still doesn't. Like, I don't think I can really use it necessarily for employment well, or whatever. But, it's but, nice but, 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 but. Okay. Yeah, it's nice to have, and... It's nice to have level two in your pocket, because that's the requirement for corporate work. Yeah, that's what I've read. But okay. again, I mean, we're not I'm, We're not even thinking of that. I'm just like, it's, it's, it's a goal I can set and sort of also use as a barometer for myself as to, you know, the, the level of expertise I'm at. So I could start at uh, probably four. If I studied hard... I could probably pass N3 by next year, perhaps. That's Sweet. what I'm thinking. Yeah, I bet you could if do that. I was that. hard enough at it. <laughs> um, but anyway, oh, I think, okay. I think but, you know, it doesn't... <laughs> it's just like, I was thinking about it. It's like, well, now it doesn't seem so bad. And I think it's related to getting older and not being yeah. as dismissive of structure and learning things from the bottom up and taking time to do it. Yeah. I think it's also, you know, that's also related to, I just started learning game design, just started doing that and learning stuff about business and taxes as, as we just discussed and Fine. things like that as well, because that also had a clear goal that has a clear goal, a clear deadline. And I'm confident I can hit those things at this point. And it was also, uh, I have recently had to retake, well, I mean, a couple of years ago, I had to take the whole driving test over again in California, and I did the, the writing, the written test, and all that. And I studied for that okay as a full, you know, thirty-year-old adult, <laughs> and I did it. And so, like, it's like okay, that so, so that those two things, then the JLPT, you know, it's like okay, I can probably I can probably do this. I can probably you know get one level one year, and then just work at it for the next you know. Four or five years, let's say, if I do really bad, and you know, do it. And then just keep working out after that, and then it's like, good, yeah, I have it. It's on, it's on record, and it's on my conscience. So, do it, Ray Capella. The thing is, is that because I'm also making a game now, and we'll probably continue doing that. It's like, it's possible I can slip again, <laughs> and but I think if I try and manage both, and they because they both have clear goals, I, I think I could, I feel a bit better about going through that than I would have, you know, again, if I was just learning Japanese without a real in point to it or definable can, point of some sort, of some sort. I can teach you. I'll go to your house or whatever. Okay, great. Yeah. Uh, sounds like you'll have to learn some too. All right. It's the repeat <laughs> after to me. Teach. Dog. <laughs> That's English. Dog. 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 Perro. <laughs> Perro. <coughs> I hate you. All right. <laughs> so I started get by, but now I, I just started getting uh, JLBT books. Oh, fun! Uh, and it's like, yeah, okay, now I can read some Kana. And, I mean, I can read Kana, and I know some kanji. But I think, like a lot of people, you know, it, the, the the grammar was the big barrier. Because I couldn't completely uh, uh, memorize the grammar and then sort of, you know, piece together a sentence on my own or whatever. So I did some research, got some books, and we'll just see how that goes. Um, let's work on the grammar a bit for N4 there's at a, least. And yeah. There's an app that I wanted to recommend for studying kanji, and I cannot for the life of me remember what it was. Uh, uh, and there's I'm several. Looking for it on my phone, and I do not see it anywhere. Well, that's the other thing is that uh, I, I I already had a pretty good tool I, that helped me before, which was a site called I Know, 
and uh, they, it's. I think it's just good for learning vocabulary and sometimes uh-huh. sentences. But uh, yeah, that was pretty good for like cramming in vocabulary and uh, recognizing the kanji for them and stuff. Fun. So now I signed way- up for that site again. Okay, and, and are doing and 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 I'm doing that along with trying to <laughs> move through the book that I got. Yeah. Uh, now, when I came to Japan in 2006 to live and work and teach, hang on, I gotta shut the blinds. It's really sunny in here. All right, there we go. Much better. Get ready for our storytelling mood. Uh, yeah, I got. I need mood lighting to hide my erection. Whoa. Uh, I was try. I was studying Japanese with some video games that I like. I was playing Dragon Quest V, and oh, I was. Yeah. Um, I was. This is 2006. This is pre-smartphone. And I did not have a, an electronic dictionary, so I would just sit there, and I would I would try to search my paper ass dictionary for these kanji in the game by radical. <sighs> and if if, uh, if you folks don't know what a radical is, it's basically a, a component that makes up a kanji. A kanji can consist of anywhere from one to like I don't know fourteen radicals. Imagine Tetris blocks. Those yes. are radicals. Tetris blocks that fucking hate you. Yes. Um, so yeah, I, it would take me, it could, it could take me anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes just to look up one kanji. Uh, and I have a tip <laughs> out there for everybody yeah. who's learning Japanese now, uh, download your, uh, Japanese dictionary app of choice. I use one called Imiwa, which, uh, I quite like. Oh yeah. Um, go into your phone settings, uh, and choose to add a keyboard and mm-hmm. add, add the keyboard called Chinese... Uh, in parentheses, simplified dash handwriting. This lets you just draw any fucking kanji you want to search for it in the dictionary. It is the greatest thing I've ever seen for looking up kanji. Yeah, that's true. And I know, yeah. I know this kind of thing has existed in, in uh, electronic dictionaries uh, and other apps uh, for ages, but this is the first free solution that I've, I've found for this problem. Yeah, who's going to pay extra money for an elect- electronic dictionary anymore? Exactly. Man, there's still a big thing in Japan, though. Yeah, yeah. Well, that is true, isn't it? Because Japan is stuck in the past. But why do the Japanese love them so much? I because they resemble fax machines. <laughs> no, I mean, why would you? Why would you desire a dictionary well, on I hand so often? Um, students of English in Japan like to have that. Um, this was largely before smartphones <sighs> were yes, proliferated. Yes. Yeah, but yeah, good point. I, yeah, people love their English. They do or love learning it anyway. Not necessarily. Sure mastering it but yes hi hi <laughs> god damn it hi it- oh yeah the other thing is that uh my girlfriend had learned english yeah by uh uh by reading a uh, translated manga whoa yeah in english and that's what she had done as a kid, which is, you know, the very slow, methodical, looking it up sort of way. Sure. And even that was kind of like, shit, what have I been doing this whole time? <laughs> I, mean, I I learned a lot of my uh, English growing up from video games. Yeah, right. I, I, I would look up words in the in the dictionary if I saw a word in a game that I didn't know. Yeah, but you already had a base knowledge of the, whole, of the whole language. That is true. You had a fluency. That is true. Have I ever told, have I ever, have I ever told the story about uh, my first encounter with parentheses? I think I have. <laughs> Perhaps. I, I think I told it on our Dragon Quest uh, 25th anniversary podcast. <laughs> right. <laughs> Where it was really relevant. Yeah, huh? yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, go ahead. Oh, uh... So okay, when I when we got Dragon Warrior two, I was I was pouring through the manual, and it was looking in the the, the section of the book about uh, spells, and it said, "Here's a list of all the spells in Dragon Warrior two. Spells targets are listed in parentheses," and <laughs> I I f- <laughs> legitimately thought that parentheses was a book of the Bible, so I ran to <laughs> the family Bible. Stop! Stop there. <laughs> That's all we need, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah. yeah I'm so yeah. go ahead. Yeah. No. No. Yeah. No. That's yeah. I th- I think I was confusing with the book of Pharisees, which is an actual book of the Bible. 
But then, like, I, I told my mom, like, <laughs> where's the book of parentheses? Your, your, our Bible is incomplete. Where's, where's parentheses? She's like, that's not a book of the Bible. And I'm like, yes, it is. I, I want to prove, I want to prove that Dragon Warrior 2 is, in fact, Bible canon. <laughs> it actually Thou happened. not hurt more. Oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> I was not a bright kid. Well, at least something got you run into the Bible. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. I love it. Yeah, so like, but anyway. <laughs> My girlfriend was also one of the things, because, you know, once I learned that, it was one of, the, one of those things that made me kind of depressed about where I was going with the Japanese stuff. Yeah. Along with that fan who told me that he was learning Japanese because of me, that was yeah. years ago. Now I don't know where he could be now at, at this point, but uh, I hope, uh, I, hope uh, I hope I hope good enough. I guess. Yeah. Nice. Uh, wow, we have a ton of questions on Twitter. Okay. Well, anyway, I'll wrap up just by saying, you know, I, I'm trying to fight my depression. Gonna go tackle this once again in my life. We'll see how we do. Sweet. We'll see. If, uh, next year, I'll take the GL, JLPT one way or another, I'm sure. Wait, am I still cutting this out, or is this part of the show? No. No, you're not. What? No, cut it back in. Okay, wait. I, th- I thought I was clipping, like, the past five minutes. No, not the past five. That's why I was only half listening to you. No. Oh. Just. All right, I'll use my, I'll use my better judgment. I'm, I'm, I think... Yeah, I think you just start again on the parentheses story, perhaps. Okay. Well, no, I wanted to make that the stinger, but okay. Whatever. Uh, fuck, now where do I end off? Oh, God, Try you got f- more editing to do? Yes. Great. I, I want to raise for this shit. Just say how much you're proud of me, and good luck. I'm proud of you. Good luck. <laughs> Great. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. All right, let's go. What are these questions? Uh, well, why don't we take a quick break and we'll come back with questions. No. Okay. Yes. Fine. <laughs> Let's just agree. Fine. Hi. Reach across the aisle. <laughs> Reach around the aisle. It's no more whoppers. I'm Ray. That's Alex. Oh yeah. Uh, Raymond, welcome. Uh, to, I guess I'd not, really like it if you called me Alexander. That's kind of like, Alexander. Welcome into this episode of No More Whoppers. We've got uh, a, a, the return of a, a, an older segment that we rarely do. It's called Listener Mail. Hi, Larry. I love your show. Actually, it's called Questions from Twitter. Uh, we've got a bunch here today. Would you like to get started with me? I guess. All right. Hi. Uh, that very he... first Nintendo. You understand what I mean by that? <laughs> yes. Uh, our first one comes from a Brad Grins. He says, why did Ray block me on Twitter? <laughs> <sighs> yeah, good question. All right. Uh, his next question is, is it just me or are poultry-based hot dogs gross? I've never had a poultry-based hot dog. Oh, like a, like like a chicken a tur- apple like, hot dog? Or, oh, that sounds good. I've never, or yeah, I've never, had, never, never had a turkey dog. Yeah, they're fine. I guess. I don't know. I kind of li- like, uh, you know, when, when poultry becomes other stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know Start what I mean? getting real. The real world. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> <Cut>. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> I don't know, like, because, I mean, meat is so heavily processed anyway. Like, the goddamn uh, McRib, it's just, it's, it's you know, meat that's been recombined into the shape of a rib with a fake bone yeah. in it. But, but now you have a lot of natural style hot dogs. Yes. I guess when you do it with poultry, though, it's not as bad. I mean, no, there's, I there's something not. about reformed meat that is grosser to me than poultry. Yeah. True. All right. Uh, our first actual question comes from a Daniel Fight at Fight Club on Twitter. Uh, he says, pick five games you'd want in a Super NES Mini coming in 2019. Fucking hell. Well, uh, I'm going to say Super Mario World, Link to the Past, Super Metroid, Final Fantasy 4 and 6. No. Final Fantasy VI and Chrono Trigger. Is that too much square? Shit. This is hard. Raymond, go. Okay. Uh, Pocky and Rocky. Oh, God. Pocky and Rocky 2. <laughs> oh, wait. No, that's it. Um, that's, there's only two, and it's those. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I wrote a magazine about the Super NES. Just go read that. That's true. I've got that on my shelf at the bar. <laughs> The one and only issue you have. <laughs> yes. No, I still have that first, uh, you know, when you were doing the test uh, printings, I still have that one issue uh, where uh, every proper noun is replaced with a racial epithet. Okay, you're right. Remember that? That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, all right. Now, this is this is going to be... Um, okay, I, this, this one is from My what? Square Don't Fit, but I don't, I don't understand his question. I think it's referencing a meme that I don't get. Okay. He says what this that be great. he says what that mouth do. Yeah, I guess it's a meme. All right, uh, we got another one from Daniel here. He says Nagoya was recently voted the least favorite city in Japan. Explain yeah. how. Explain how wrong or right that is. We're number zero. We're number zero. We are. Um, I I say this a lot when people ask me about Nagoya or Pittsburgh. I always I compare them <laughs> by Sister saying cities. that. What? Are they sister cities? No! <laughs> but I, I always explain that Nagoya is the Pittsburgh of Japan. It's actually a great city, but nobody gives a shit. And that's pretty much how I feel about uh, Nagoya and Pittsburgh to an extent. I think uh, the Nagoya sports fans are a lot better, though. That's true. We got the Dragons. We got uh, we got some of the best food in I Japan, I think. fans. Oh. Yeah. They're what? not throwing batteries or anything. Oh, that's true. Yeah. But isn't okay, cool. isn't isn't throwing a battery like a symbolic gesture saying I want to give you more power because I don't feel that you're empowered? No, it's for hurting. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> no wonder my host family is so angry. <laughs> uh, hang on, Ray. Do you have Twitter pulled up? Can you ha can you take this for a minute? Because I have to go to the bathroom. I don't. I can't. <laughs> Great. Have fun. All right. I guess I'll just be back in a few minutes then. All right. Is it number Hi, one or two? Uh, JJ Abrams. Oh, oh, it's a big old two. <laughs> well, you heard it here first, folks. I'll be. No, this is not staying in the show. <laughs> I'll be right back. Jesus. <laughs> that very first Nintendo. You understand what I mean by that? Hello, Alex. Okay, I'm back. How'd the poop go? Oh, swimmingly. Okay, good. All right, you good to go? Oh, I'm always good. Good. Just waiting for another question for you to read. Yes, I'm finding one. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right, our next one is from a Brett Muller. That's at Brett Muller. He says, what are some good comics you like? I'll take this one because I know you don't read comics. Uh, actually, no, I, I like the... <laughs> what? I'm just kidding. God damn it. Pocky and Rocky. Pocky and Rocky Volume 2. <laughs> yeah. Um, I actually, I don't read comics now because I live in Japan. I don't I don't even read manga here. Uh, I'm still working on a couple of X-Men and Hawkeye anthologies that I bought when I was in the States, but that's about it. I really, I'd like to get into more, but there's, uh, A, not a lot of great, uh, there's not a good selection of American comics in Japan. 
Uh, and B, they would be crazy expensive um, if I could. I mean, th- no, ma- I'm, okay, I take that back. Mandarake does have a, a vast selection of American comics, but they're all in Japanese. Can and I would you rather, use huh? A, a iPad. Oh yeah, I thought about do, uh, doing Comicsology, but I've heard that uh, it's it's not the greatest system, and that the app is kind of broken. Uh, but if but anybody it's... knows otherwise, uh, tell me. I think, uh, well, it's also kind of the only game in town if you want to read them digital or anything. Yeah, I'm sure. Uh, but, and also, like, you know, it's it's a way to read them in, in your country, I think, I would hope. That's true. So, I'd like to do that. I go. do want to get back into comics. I read some I, I, good Disney Adventures comics back in the day. Some of those were good. There were hey, some good Tailspin ones there. Damn, some, son. It's a Darkwing Duck adventure I really enjoyed. I used to read those a lot in the bathroom. Marsupalami. It's a digest size magazine. It was really good for that. You know, you would also like read nice interviews with celebrities. And also, you know, a segment where you're like, what are kids talking about in this school? Yeah. And Wonderful. our new segment, what are kids? <sighs> yeah. Uh, Brett also asks, also, one of you guys wrote fan fiction at some point, right? Yes, that was me. <laughs> uh, yes. That was me. I, I think the first thing I ever wrote was a Final Fantasy 4 and 6 crossover. Okay, wow. Yeah. So, like, yeah. So, like, both the the worlds of both games, like, somehow got merged, and then, like, right. all my favorite characters are now pals. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, oh, no. And here pals comes, with you. And here, yes. Oh, yeah, of course I was in there. It was self-insertion. <laughs> And of course, uh, you know, the big bad evil has been resurrected, so they got to work together. Um, And then after that, I wrote, it's not really fan fiction. I just wrote, like, (laughs) I started to, I tried to write a novelization of Super Metroid. (laughs) Yeah. This is on my my mom's uh, word processor. This is before we even got a computer. Oh, Jesus. I was just writing down the narrative of Super Metroid. You didn't have a computer in 1994? No. I think we got our first one in 95 or 96. Must be ninety five. Sorry. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I tried to novelize Final Fantasy three. I mean six. <sighs> really? I got like a, a sixth of a page in. <laughs> that was good. That was a nice project. <laughs> um, I also wrote an original Mario Brothers story in junior high, high school. Whoa. Yeah. Uh, Mario and the search, the, wait, no, the hunt for Red October? Is that taken? Kind of. What was it about? I would watch that, though. (laughs) (laughs) What was yours about? Oh, it didn't really go anywhere in the end, but uh, it was not like, I mean, technically it was fan fiction, but it was also like an original story of creative writing for a school project. Was there, anything, was there anything about the Velvet Glove of the Philosopher Kings? No, I didn't even know what that is. was. Okay, all right. I, I mean, was. Uh. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, okay, are you ready for the of next one? Of course I know what it is. Uh, yes, <laughs> Damn it. Uh, this next one comes from El Tigre Millionario. Uh, he says, are you guys both watching Terrace House now? Will Ray move to Japan? Will we get episode 162 before next year? Uh, I'll field those. Uh, no, yes, no, and no. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know you're watching Terrace House. I'm not. Are you, you still watching to... it? Yeah, the new series is going on. Oh, fun. And uh, will you move to Japan? I would guess yes. No. What? Why? Life is taking a turn. <laughs> but don't don't you... I thought you were going to get a job with... Uh, um, uh, Sensha Captain no... what's his name? <laughs> Sensha no Sekai. Which is literally World of Tanks. No? Alright. Uh, <laughs> will we get episode 162 before no! next year? <laughs> the answer is an astounding no. No! Yes! Oh, no! 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 All right, Ray, I get it. No, Alex. No, here's, Alex. Uh, okay. Here, here's what I I'm want you to... I'm a loaf! Ray? <laughs> <This, laughs> we've, got, 
We've got another one from Daniel Fight. He writes, who do you think would win in a fight in their current condition, Stallone or Schwarzenegger? Oh, That's a good I was question. Hoping it would be you or me. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Let's let let's <laughs> we're assume both he sick. let's let's assume he meant Alex or Ray, <laughs> and we're both sick. <laughs> I think we would just end up like slapping each other in the corner until we passed out. I think I'm buckling over from coughing more, so you'd probably get more of an advantage. Yes. Yeah. All right, folding just chair to the face. <laughs> uh, I I think Stallone would probably. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I guess they're, they're both losers. I don't know. I think I Schwarzenegger's, I don't Schwarzenegger's a little bit dumpier. I guess I don't care. Yeah, that's that's what I, that's why I was thinking Stallone would win, because Stallone was also, like, doing tons of steroids for Rocky. Yeah. And Schwarzenegger put on a lot of weight, so I think Stallone would have the advantage. Yeah. Don't forget the Expendables. Three of those. And the Expandables. Uh, oh, here's one from uh, our good friend Daniel Worthington, uh, all Too the way Daniels. in Australia. He writes, please rank every slime type in the Dragon Quest series based purely on sex appeal or just list them all if that's too much. Oh my god, there's too many now. There's like, there are yeah. dozens of slime types now. I mean, if you say the Dragon Quest universe, you have to include all these spinoffs and shit. Right. And it was, like it the was Monsters really, games, where of course there's going to be more than 70 types of fucking slime. It was really, yeah, it was really in the Monsters games, and especially after DQ6, that uh, slime types just exploded. Yes. So I'm going to say, for my money, you can't go wrong with just a good, old-fashioned, classic slime. Slime classic. <laughs> Uh, rest assured, you've collected them all. Yes. That or the... Um, oh, I don't know. Oh, man. This reminds me. I got really pissed off at uh, a fan site, which makes which is petty of me, but... Uh, no. Well, it's also common. A couple years ago, a couple years ago when they announced uh, the, the, the second uh, DQ10 expansion, they, were, they posted... Uh, Square Enix posted screenshots of some of the new monsters, and one of them was called a uh, Mashu Suraimu which was obviously short for mushroom slime because it looked like it was very it was spotted and it looked like a mushroom. And this this fan site was like, "We don't know what this is, but it's called a mash slime." Yeah. <laughs> Not sure what that could be. Anyway, we'll tell you when we know. Bye. <laughs> it's like, "Guys, come like really? Uh, you know enough to be able to read that. You can't connect the dots." Listen, we all oh. learn Japanese at different levels. I guess I just we went do. over this. Yes, that's okay, you did. All right, I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah, Daniel, I like a regular slime. I like a, I like a king slime as well. I like all the slimes. They're all my, they're all my children. They're all okay, guys you children. answered it. Let, all right, fine. Brett Muller, least favorite Pokemon. Uh, mine is seal, because it's just a fucking seal. <laughs> what about you? Uh, definitely the one I've joked about before, which is the fucking sandcastle ones. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and the new one. Give me a break. Those are pretty redonk. It reminds me of the, the Simpsons that was just on Talking Simpsons, the uh, huh. people who look like things. <laughs> <laughs> yes, on a new candle every now and then. No! <laughs> <sighs> yeah, that was foretelling Pokemon for sure. It really was. Uh, this next one is from a JHP at a bit sleepy. He writes, what's your favorite No More Whoppers memory? Well, uh, let's think about it. No more Whoppers memories. I'd like to apologize for the entire second episode. This has been a No More Whoppers memory. So that's mine. Oh, wait, there's more. Let's see. Do I have anything else to apologize for? Nope, that's it. Ray, how about you? Uh... Uh, I love I, being hairless. Okay, there we go. Great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't oh, wait, wait, I'm sorry. Oh, God. Yeah, this is pretty good. <laughs> yeah, that was a good one. <laughs> that's No, Ray, I'm pretty sure that's Seinfeld. Yeah, but yeah, I was, uh, it was on the show. Wait, wait, we were on Seinfeld or Seinfeld no, was, was on No, no that was on this show. Okay, all right, fine. So that that 
the theme we? from the Seinfeld theme is more entertaining than anything I've ever said in the past. Ooh, well, you walked into that one, that's for sure. <laughs> Alex, 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 Alex. <laughs> Hi. All right. Uh, um, honestly, though, I think um, my my best number whoppers memories are um, visiting you for Homeland Week or when you were here for Nihonland Week. Oh Jesus, really? Th- yeah, those are so much fun. You had such bad memories of the Japan one. I yeah, have terrible <laughs> memories of it. Like, because <laughs> you insisted, you insisted I turn my fucking air conditioner down to minus yeah. ten degrees and it started dripping on me during the recording. Uh, but which I was is, comfortable. Which 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 gave us a great sound bite. <laughs> I'll admit. It's everywhere. All right, that was pretty great. <laughs> yeah, you got me a Super Game Boy, and which I appreciate, Picross and Picross two to go, two, with, to go, to go with, with it, which I believe I already owned, but the battery in it was dead. Yeah, and you, bo- you gave me the. Okay, emergency. Oh. Not good, man. My... Oh, fuck. Oh, dear. Ray insisted on turning on the AC. You know, it's <laughs> leaking all over my goddamn room. <laughs> Ray, stop it! Oh, my God, it's on my TV! <laughs> Raymond! <laughs> I did too. Why is it my fault? This is not cool. I know it's not cool. This is not even regular water. It's like yellow, dirty water. I know. I'm sorry. Shit's still leaking. <laughs> oh, my God. It's all my over my keyboard. I'm just going to leave it. Let it dry on its own. Jesus, fuck, man. Oh, it smells awful. Where is this coming from? <laughs> it was spurting. Spurting. From the unit. I'm sorry. Spurting from the unit. Just dripped on me. I don't know where it's coming from. I think it's coming from here. All right, no more AC for you for a month. No. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Ah, shit. I thought something was weird when I was just sitting here recording and my leg was getting these splashes of water on it. I'm like, oh, I must just be sweating. That's what sweat feels like when it comes out of your body. It's- like a droplet falling from the sky. Ah, okay, yeah, um, that's unfortunate. Sorry about. That. If any of my neighbors come over here, angry at my shouting, I'm just going <laughs> to shove you out the door and lock it. <clears throat> well, <laughs> I'm glad we're not doing a full week. No. <laughs> we really don't. We don't coexist together in the same space for more than a day or two. No, we don't. no. I noticed that last time I was uh, was home for Homeland Week. Yes, yes. Everything starts out nice, and then it's like, Alex ate my uh, snack packs. Yeah. (laughs) Uh, I was very upset about that, by the way. They're delicious. But I like the vanilla. I like the chocolate, though. Asshole. You ever dip Pop-Tarts in them? Mm, No. Because that's disgusting. No. Uh, do you actually want to continue the show properly here? Yeah, I thought we were. Are we going to cut any of that? No. I think we should. I, I want the whole world to see your shame. Because there's some real pauses in there. Well, no, I'm going to cut the pauses. Okay. Uh, you might have to go back and edit that in. <laughs> uh, but it's, it's, not, it's, not, it's not just that. It's like it's hanging no, out. I, yes, yes. You know, when when I went to, to visit you in uh, good old fashioned. Where do you live? Where did you live? But not Bellingham. God damn it. <laughs> Hold Close. on. Oh, yeah, I know this. It starts with a B, right? Burlingame. Yes. All right. There's a I ding in at, it. I stayed at your place at Burlingame, and uh, I remember we, we went out to this Mexican restaurant. We went into the city one day. We went out for pizza. We went to Five Guys. We, ate, we just ate so much shitty food. It was amazing. Yeah, we went to Ikea. We went to Ikea. Uh, yeah, you drove like a maniac on the way there and back, and then when we got home, you told me you didn't even have your license. <laughs> You goddamn weirdo. I've uh, kind of improved. Uh, we, we drank Arnold Much Palmer's better. and played Turtles in Time and the Simpsons arcade game. <laughs> <laughs> that, that might be like one of my that's like one of my top ten favorite memories of all time. This, that could be any decade. <laughs> I know. 
It was just, it was a lot of fun. That's my, that's my top. Okay, yeah, that's my number one number Whopper's memory is drinking Arnold Palmer's with you and playing through uh, the Simpsons arcade game at your house in Berwyn game. <laughs> But, okay, it wasn't really on No More Whoppers, though. I, I know, but we are No More Whoppers. It was, <laughs> it was you know, just you know during I mean? that week. All right. Um, our next one is from a McKay. Hey, I want to answer it. Go. I thought you did. You gave me the Seinfeld thing. No, I have a real answer. I just want to say any any of, any of the times where we just broke. broke. Oh, yeah. You know, laughing. <laughs> that's always fun. Yeah. <laughs> it's consistently the best. Yes, that's winning. Winning yeah. formula. That's, see, that's I, I don't get that at, at work so often because I don't I don't really I don't connect with with most of the customers the same way that I do with you. I mean, yeah. I've known you for fifteen years and we're pretty inside each other's heads. Yeah, no one's as cool as me. I know. Shut up. Yeah. Although I I, I came close uh, a couple weeks ago when uh, <laughs> I don't know why I remember this, but it was really funny to me. Um, <laughs> My friend Jason was there, and, and uh, I think, I forget if it was Dan or Jeremy, somebody was playing Mario Maker and trying to beat one of my levels, and he said, uh, it's, it's, it's getting hard to do. My, my palms are all sweaty. And Jason and I immediately looked at each other at the same time and said, Mom Spaghetti. <laughs> and <laughs> I, I, cracked right. up, I cracked up pretty hard. Yeah, no, totally works. Uh, I did that, that high-pitched laugh that I do when I'm, I'm legitimately tickled. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, are you ready for this next one from McKay Ash? Yes. Uh, he says, can I pet your dog? I don't have a dog. No, nope, me neither. Uh, I wish I had a dog. Is that I do a meme? <laughs> I, do li- I, I do like the fact that in the, from the, from when I saw uh, Laser Time play, um, uh, what's it called? Fucking dogs. The dog game. <sighs> Watch dogs. Yeah, <laughs> Watch dogs too. Uh, when, you, when you encounter a dog in the street, you can there's a, there's a pet command, and then yeah. the dog looks happy, and I like that. Yeah, you gotta pet the dog. All right, uh, here's one from uh, everyone's favorite pasta sauce, Rob Bartoli. He writes, "How can I listen to No More Whoppers if I can't hear random train horns anymore? Can you bring back the train?" No, train's too that, far away. That, no. that was the Berlin game train. You might hear a stray rumbly car. Oh boy! Well, why don't From we both some get some? Out here, why don't yeah. we get some train drops and just put them on the soundboard? Well, I, I'm, I'm trying to help out here. I mean, there's plenty of assholes around here with loud cars, so you might hear one. I'm trying to make the best of a situation here. <laughs> You're putting a train noise all over what, how I'm talking now, aren't you? <laughs> Classic Alex. Chugga 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 chugga. <laughs> That's what I think the train sounds like. That was Pac Man. No, this is Pac Man. <laughs> oh wow, it is! <laughs> wow. Did Wait, you know I, that? Maybe That's I on the NES Classic Edition. No, hold on, let me take that. Is again. Seinfeld on there? No, no. Sh- That's on the NES Classic Edition. What Pac Man? That very first Nintendo. You understand what I mean by that? <laughs> Thank you. Hang on, maybe I can do my Predator impression. Ta-da! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> kill me! <laughs> All right, uh, we've got... <laughs> that was better. <laughs> <laughs> do, it. do that. Uh, <laughs> do that instead. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Uh, we've got one from a Wes at Hibernation Wes. He says, whoa, what hobby that's not games have you found to be the most fulfilling? Uh, boy, aside from drinking, I would probably say, uh, writing. I, I enjoy Dragon Quest poetry. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, I haven't actually written anything in, um, a, a couple of years, but yeah. when I actually had a blog, I liked cranking out dumb, short, uh, either fiction or, um, just, you know, blogs, blog entries. Here's, here's, uh, the origins of six enemy names in Fantasy Star. I like shit yeah. like that. Here's the origins of six enemy names in Final Fantasy Eleven. Right? Oh, Final Fantasy Eleven. Hang on, where's my FF11 drop? Hang on, Ray. There we go. Well, no, that's too long. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that got that, that actually got old pretty quick. <laughs> <laughs> it's so long. All right, fine. I'll I'll speed it up. We'll see if I can't do something with that here. Hang on here. 
<laughs> well, folks, um, since this may be, um, I, I may not play FF11 again, uh, it may be the end. Um, Faster. I'd like to dedicate a song. Uh, Ray, do you mind? Um, <laughs> I guess not. Okay, so um, I don't have a choice anyway. No, we're, we're going to take a look together. Okay. Here we go. No, you know what? I think so. I'm, st- I'm stopping this. Okay. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Okay. Right. What about you? <laughs> I forgot the question. Uh, a hobby that's fulfilling oh, yeah, aside hobbies. from games. I really don't have any hobbies that aren't game related. <laughs> well, but like, almost doesn't, never have. Doesn't making your own magazine count as a hobby? Yeah. Like, graphic I guess. design and layout and all that shit. I guess that did count. Right? <laughs> it's just not anymore because I don't do it anymore. But you did it for years. Yeah, but not anymore. I, I know, the but... guy was talking in present tense. I know, but once you collect all 100... Not, then... Once you collect okay. all 151 Pokemon, because that's all there are, yeah, I mean... you, 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 you can still consider yourself a Pokemon collector. Okay. Right? Just because you've met your goal doesn't mean that you're not an enthusiast for that thing anymore. I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm trying to defend your dumb ass. Okay. Well, you're not doing that great. Oh, I'm sorry. Just tell me I'm great. You're you're pretty great. Oh, thanks. Uh, At ass. Oh, that feels good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that tickled me so much. Uh... <laughs> uh. Uh, here's you one call, for, wait, 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 wait. If you want to call learning Japanese a hobby, sure. Okay, there that you go. That just started again. Right? Uh, okay. All right. It's your shoe-me. <laughs> <laughs> what, shoe I love that. It's a good yeah, deli- I had those last night, actually. All right. Delicious. They had uh, tomato and cheese on them and in them. Ooh. They're like Italian shoe Wait, That's ravioli. <laughs> no, no, oh, shit. Oh, my God. I'm so, yeah, you're right. <laughs> oh, my bad. <laughs> You idiot. <laughs> I totally mix those up. That's Italian. Yes, it is. <laughs> anyway, I'm about to dig into some of this uh, Italian raw, sh- raw fish on rice. <laughs> <laughs> I wish they had it in Japan. Lovely. Uh, our next one is from a... Um, who is this? Uh, Joseph at Agent Raz. Question for Alex. What party would you suggest for the DQ7 post-game content? I'll take this one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please. Uh, <laughs> Forticator. Right. Gardener. Okay. Uh, astrologist. Okay. And, oh, oh, shit. You have to have good balance, I think. Um... Uh, Twix, Twix, Twix Mage. No, no, uh, the one that's like that, but um, uh, Bumblebee. That's right. Thank you. Okay. Yes, he transforms. Great. Yeah. Uh, make sure he's equipped with Caramello because it's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. So when I the first. The, uh, when I when I read that question, the first way I interpreted it was, which characters would you recommend? I'm like, it doesn't really matter. They're all pretty much interchangeable at the end. Mm, yeah, that's except, for sure. Except for the fact that Maribel, as much, that. as much as I love Maribel, she can't equip the Metal King helmet that everyone should have gotten from the casino. But yeah, job-wise, I, I, you know what? I never actually beat... Wait, did I? I think I, I beat the bonus dungeon, or at least the first one. Yeah, I don't even think I did the second one. Uh, but when I beat the first one, I, I think my party was just two heroes and two god hands. No, they're not called god hands in the English version. Two heroes and two champions. There we go. That's, see, that's a localization choice that I don't get. I, I th- god hand is such a cool name for a, a, an all-powerful melee class. Why change it to the boring-ass champion? It doesn't make a whole lot of sense in the, on this side of the world. What, god hand? Yeah, I don't think anyone would really get it. It's just it's just it's just a cool name for someone who punches real hard. I'm saying it's used more in Japan. Is it? Well, I mean, there's a game called God Hand. Oh, that's true. There's this ability called I mean, yeah, you just said God Hand. I think there's other uses of it. Oh, maybe an oh. anime or something. Speaking of God doing Whoa. shit. Sorry. 
Yeah. Uh, sp- speaking of God doing shit, uh, our, our our good pal Daniel Worthington uh, sent me a a picture. He's playing God Eater right now. Oh yeah. And uh, there's a there's a weapon in the game called Patui Mallet, and oh, this could that's right. this could very well just be a coincidence because I don't think we know anybody who uh, localizes for Namco Bandai. Um, but yeah, it's a it's a it's a mallet with wings on it that can inflict poison damage. So yeah. that's pretty awesome. But Tui's getting some love finally. <laughs> yes, the world's most poisonous bird. Look it up. I glanced at his screenshot at first, and I thought it was from like Dark Souls Three or something. He's like, oh, oh. no, it's just God. Here. At first, see, I got super excited because I saw a mallet, and I thought it was from Dragon Quest Builders. I'm like, ho 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 ho. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not quite. Yeah. Um, here's one from McKay Ash at Mr. Smart Ash. Why is there only one picture of Bog Mackey on the entire internet? Does he actually have a face? Um, I don't know. Uh, you should use Bing. You should use Bing, Probably yes. Find more images that way. Bing it. Chandler also, Bing turn off shit. safe search. Oh, yeah. You got to turn off safe search. Otherwise, you're not going to get any of the juicy stuff. Uh, I think, yeah, I have, I mean, obviously, uh, uh, you, you see Bob on, on the regs, but, uh, I, everyone could be gay. You could be gay. (laughs) That's not (laughs) indicative of the image search. I just want to let you know. (laughs) I think I've only met Bob two or three times, but I can, I can certainly confirm that he does have a face. (laughs) But does he look like the picture? Uh, yes. Yeah, he does. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Agree. He's got that, uh, Youngstown, Ohio look to him. (laughs) <laughs> don't tell him that oh oh no uh that was yeah that was um i think the first and only time we ever actually bonded over anything was um <laughs> was uh because we both spent a lot of time in ohio and we did we both we went out to dinner which what was it was it so this is 30 <laughs> is that what you called the event uh, uh, uh it, yes it was called you, you this organized, is 30 or yeah. An evening with Alex Freyola. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. <laughs> Very low turnout. But uh, I'm glad but I I am glad I am glad that Bob came. Including me. Yeah. yeah. I am glad that Bob came and it was nice cuz like I'd only heard him on Retronauts. It was nice to actually have a non-game related conversation about how much Ohio sucks. Yeah, yeah. Uh, all right. Anyway. Um oh, a follow up. Oh no. Yes. Where, where do you buy socks? Uh, Costco. Next question. Uh, well, how about you, Ray? Quick, go. Uniqlo. Gun. Great. Print. Uh, another one from Joseph. Uh, he says, also for Alex, why do you dislike Mega Picross? And also you say Picross weird accent on second syllable. Yep. Shut yep, up. Yep. Yep. Yes, he does. It's Picross. Nope, it's not. Fuck you. Why is it Picross? Because it's better. Why? It just is. What are you basing this on? 33 years of experience. <laughs> oh, right. <God> <laughs> <laughs> All right. Mm. I guess I don't like Mega Picross. I don't like Mega Picross because, um, I don't know, it just feels a little too newfangled to me. I can't really get into it. I, I find it, I, I guess I just don't have the hang of it yet. I find it a little too uh, challenging. And as we all know, Alex doesn't like anything new. Despite the fact that I've already beaten all six e Picross E's on the DS, including, including all the Mega my, Mega Picross puzzles. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Right. So I, I mean, I, 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 I don't particularly like them, but I can still beat them. Yeah. Uh, another one from uh, McKay Ash. Should I see Doctor Strange or Doctor Strange Love since Trump got elected? Oh boy! Uh, see both. They're both great movies, uh, and I haven't seen Doctor Strange yet because I live <laughs> in Japan neither. and we don't get our movies for another ten years. And I'm just lazy. Yeah. Also, uh, I got sick, and I probably would have seen it last week if I didn't well, get sick. So. And also, yeah, I, I refuse to talk about the election. <laughs> That's it's, it's enough bullshit uh-huh. by itself. We'll, we'll let other people yeah. talk about that. Um, oh my god, how many of these questions are there? Okay, there's not, not that many more left. Stick with me, we can do this, Ray. No, it's fine, I'm good. Uh, this is from a QM Koi Y. He says, have either of you two ever run into bizarro versions of each other? Mm, I think no, I might No, not have. personally. Oh, I did when I was five or six years old. 
Uh, you remember, you know that picture of me and my sister with Shamu at SeaWorld? Uh, kind of. Standing in the foreground of that picture is what looks like a young Ray. Oh, God. Okay. But I don't know. I, I guess that's not technically a bizarro version. Yeah. But you've seen pictures of guys that look like both of us, but you know, right. not in person. Haven't I don't done know. that yet. Haven't tripped that part of time and space yet. I don't know what a bizarro ray would look like. Do I, I don't you? look at me. Okay, I'm not. I can't. I'm in Japan. Yeah. Yeah. Um Okay, we can ignore those. No. I'm ignoring the ones <laughs> are that they, are not actual questions. Are they asking about blocks again? <laughs> no, it's uh, some song lyrics. Oh, uh, right. Here's one from a Nuke the Stars. He says, do you think you'll ever do another Crunk Games podcast special? This is it. Oh, shit. Wait, No More Whoppers is it? It's the spiritual sequel. That's true. We wouldn't really have it without the other one. I mean, yeah. But, but I mean, we did the Dragon Quest 25th anniversary episode. We did the Fantasy Star 20... Yeah, 25th yeah. anniversary special. So we covered the two game series you might actually care about. Right. Mm, I think we're good. Uh, are you sure? Yeah. Unless you really want to do Resident Evil or something. Uh, ooh. But, yeah. Hmm. Well, I don't know. I've only played up to Resident Evil 5. I heard 6 was terrible. Anyway. <laughs> uh <laughs> And our, our, our final question from an Adamu Kun, he says, favorite mobile games right now? Well, certainly not picked Logica Final Fantasy. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Actually, uh, I'll tell you what. I, have, I am hooked on a super simple, super dumb iPhone game called Flow. Okay. If Never you're heard Flow, of it. It's I remember the old PS3 game. Uh, no, I did no relation. Mm. It's basically, it's a, there's a grid, and there's colored dots on the grid, and you have to connect the colored dots. You have to connect blue to blue, red to red, etc., uh, and you have to use every oh. space on the grid. Uh, that sounds like another game called Line. Uh-huh. Uh, with the Y, by the way. Oh, fun. Yeah. Might be a ripoff of that. I don't know. It's very possible. Lots of ideas out there these days. I'm taking a break from it now because um, I just... I. I broke my streak there's a um there are daily puzzles that they give you uh, anywhere from two to like 10 daily puzzles for free and if you can beat all of them within a day uh you can start a chain and uh i think i got up to like 45 days straight where i beat all the puzzles and then i uh worked i was working at the bar uh <laughs> got very busy uh did not have time to do the day's puzzles and i reset my chain so taking a break Yep, great. <clears throat> I don't really play mobile games that regularly. No? I really go out in fits and spurts. Gross. Fits and starts? Starts and fits. I'm almost there goes? Yet. Alex, help me. For once, uh, I'm asking you to help me. Oh. What's the art, saying? Arts and farts. I'll take it. I don't really play them in arts and farts sometimes. Um, great. I was playing one called Bullet Hell Monday. This Japanese guy who made it all by himself. There's uh, sometimes I play Mobius Final Fantasy, but I don't really get far, so I don't know. Really, yeah. Whatever, that one's done. I think. Um, I should play more of Dragon Quest One or Three. I mean, two or three. Uh, but I should also finish Seven first. So yes, you should. Yep. Seven's great. So I'm trying to focus on the 3DS instead of the phone right now. Oh, man. I don't, yeah. I don't commute anymore. I mean, uh, in a, other than driving. I need to pay attention when driving, so I can't pit play games on a commute anymore. So, Right. I, I remember uh, in high school, my good friend Matt and I went to the mall to buy Final Fantasy VIII on release day. Ah yes, nine nine ninety nine, and yes, yeah, it was very expensive. And uh, <laughs> <You> know <it. laughs> I know. <laughs> and we almost got in an accident on the way home because he was reading the manual while driving. <laughs> okay, that's hmm. 
We were, we were very youth. intelligent. <laughs> yep. We survived. What can you get from the man? What can you? What did he want to get from the manual that couldn't wait? <laughs> he was trying to understand the complicated materia system. <laughs> no junctions. No, no. What? In eight, right? Like I said, eidolons. <laughs> Aspers. Thank you. Blitzball. <sighs> I want to have sex with a girl. You better than this, that's for sure. <laughs> hey. Any more questions? I'm right here, man. Oh, um, I think that's it. That should do it. Let me take one last look at Twitter. Okay. And we are all done. Thank you guys for writing in. All right. Great. We did it. Oh, my God. Wow. Yeah, we're good. Yeah. Can you believe we've come to the end of yet another episode? Oh, my God. Have we? Yes. Well, that was a fun two topics we talked about. Yeah. Arg, I'm a pirate! <laughs> Well, I hope that uh, we can record again sometime. Yeah, cool. It's fun to talk to you. Yeah. No, I mean, this has also been enjoyable. <laughs> this has been pleasant. <laughs> well, yes, why don't... What, what? What? Hi. Ray? Oh, you... No, <laughs> start why don't over. We, why, <laughs> why don't we wrap up this shit show? <laughs> okay, don't be so negative. Fine. Why don't we wrap up Just this amazing... Okay. Why don't we wrap up your negative ass? <laughs> Zip. <laughs> wow. All right, sure. Great. All right. Well, it, yeah. End of the show. It's been fun. Another fun month here with you <laughs> on the old Squawk Box. <laughs> what? Uh, what? Is that how you put it? What is a Squawk Box? Uh, it was an old term for a, a walkie-talkie, you know, like a police radio. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you got it? Okay, good. Yeah, anyway, thanks. that's the show, everybody. Go to our website, nomorewhoppers.tumblr.com. There you can find the donate button, although we're skipping donations until something good comes along. From new, unique people. So if you want to be a new, unique person who maybe just discovered the show and want to give us some moolah, go ahead and do so. Right? Sure. Alex, yes? Yes! All right. Find us on Facebook, facebook.com slash no more whoppers. If you haven't yet left Facebook due to recent events, uh, like us there. And you can also be part of the fan fun segment, uh, which we did not do this time. But, you know, if you have, have, again, if we do enough, if we have enough Facebook likes, we'll do the segment, just like with the donations. I'm just recapping because people may not have remembered. That's all. Okay. Uh, also, over nerd stories. Over nerds are funny, brief stories about crazy nerds you've encountered or have been. Send them to no more whoppers at gmail.com. Um, or also, no more whoppers on Twitter, where you can find funny retweets and other things that we do. Alex is also on Twitter. Hi, I'm Patui. That's P I T O H U I. I'm on Twitter, R-D-B-A-A-A. -A -A. Visit Critical Hit in Nagoya. Just off the belt line. Alex could use it this time. Yes, and uh, <laughs> find me on Twitter at Critical Hit Bar or Facebook.com slash Critical Hit Bar. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Uh, I should be a Retronaut soon. If you want to listen to that, Retronauts.com. You remember that podcast Ooh. I used to be on? It's still can on you, it. Can you give us a little hint about your next appearance? Uh, let's see, a hint. What's a good hint? Oh boy. Mm. Huh. Well, I... Mm. I can neither confirm nor deny that Michael Jackson did the soundtrack for it. Whoa! Sonic 3? No, the episode. Oh. Whoa! Sonic 3? <laughs> uh, let's see. And... Oh, if you also go to our website, nomorewhoppers.tumblr.com, you can also buy a No More Whopper shirt. Oh, yeah, we shirt, got some of those. Or an Alex shirt. Right? Yes. We, well, they're infinite, basically. Yeah? <laughs> I, would like, I would like to order one of those uh, logo shirts. Okay. You could, well, uh, boy, you know, it's too bad you can't really buy them at a discount and then sell them for, well, I guess you can still buy them and then sell them for a markup at the right? bar. It's, it's Japan. Everyone expects t-shirts to cost 4,000 yen. Yeah, that's true. Well, uh, t-shirts are only for artistic people. 
What? Yeah, because they're all artistic t-shirts. Is that true? You know, like babe shirts or whatever. Oh, yeah, those. Yeah. I tried to make sense when I was in my mucusy haze. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, that's that's about it, Alex. Thanks for being a good sport. Anytime. Everybody else, keep your nose clean. We'll see you next week. Gold subscribers, stick around till after the show. The Fukuoka sinkhole, was it natural occurrences or just a lot of prairie dogs? We'll find out. What are you, an idiot? Yes.